Hi guys, today I'm going to do a video all about the things that I received as a present for Christmas. So the first thing that I opened, actually, the first present of Christmas, because I get to open the presents first, was this dressing gown. It's a mini Mouse dressing gown and it's so cute. It's so warm and I wore it all Christmas day. It's from Primark, it's got this mini Mouse on it. And yeah, it's red, it's got really deep pockets. As you guys already know, so there's no point in explaining this present, um, I love Katy Perry and I think I didn't get a lot of Katy Perry presents because there wasn't really anything that I wanted um, like desperately. So my dad surprised me with this. This is a Katy Perry 2016 diary. This is not official, um, but that's okay. I don't know if you know this, but I am a huge fan of this next person. She's so funny. I love watching her videos. She's an absolute off the wall, hilarious human being, but she's also very serious and passionate about what she loves. So yeah, it's this Miranda Sings book and Katie got it for me. It's self health. Um, it's a really good book. Uh, it's really good quality as well and there's like just, you know, she teaches you how to better yourself. Um, my next book is of another YouTuber that I absolutely love. I was so happy when my brother got this. At this point when I was opening my presents I didn't think I was going to get any books because I asked for I think three books in total. Um, but I was really worried that I wasn't going to get them. And my brother got me this one which was actually my most wanted book out of all three. And it's Tanya Burr's book and it's called Love Tanya. What I really liked about this book was actually the baking recipes and I'm so glad that she's now doing a cooking book because she is really really good at like baking so I'm really happy that she's doing um, a baking book because it means that I can um, bake some more of her recipes and oh, I just can't wait I love baking and so yeah so last year was basically one of the best years of my life and one of the reasons it was is because I had the brilliant opportunity of going to the Harry Potter Warner Brothers studios um, and my dad knows, and I'm sure he definitely knows now, who my favourite character is. It's Hermione Granger. And this is the only thing that I think that I don't own of hers. So this is the Hermione Granger film artifact box. So it contains things that you would expect to see that are hers. So things that she may have in the film. Um, so there's a love potion, the Yule Ball uh, invitation, um, a Yule Ball medallion, um, Platform 9 and 3 quarter tickets, um, not everything is on it. Some exam papers. My favourite things in here is the um, is the timetable. The next thing I'm going to show you are the DVDs which I received. Um, so yeah, my first one, this one is going to seem so stupid because people are going to be like, oh we're going to show the Doctor and Fern who don't have their DVD. Um, well, I thought that it was going to be released in season 8, but it wasn't. This is Matt Smith's last episode. Um, the time of the doctor. Um, my next present was something that I was dying to see in the cinema but was not able to see. So I put it on my Christmas list and I got it and it is Inside Out. It's so good. If you haven't seen this film, you need to watch it. You need to own it on DVD because it's definitely a, a DVD you should own if you're a Disney fan. Um, the next DVD I got again was a must have. Um, and it's the Katy Perry Prismatic Live Tour. This was literally the most exciting thing that was going to happen to me in 2014. And the fact that I had the opportunity to go to her concert and see her live, it was just such a, an amazing experience. And I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to go. So this DVD just like completes it all. It just finishes it off for me. So yeah, Katy Perry Prismatic Tour. My best friend Bethan got me this, The Perks of Being a Warflower. This is a film that I've wanted for ages. I just, um, I put it on my Christmas list nearly every single Christmas since I've seen this film and I never got it. And then finally Bethan bought it for me uh, as a Christmas present and I love it. Thank you so much Bethan. It's a really good film and if you haven't seen it, you must watch it. This was, I think, could actually be my favourite Christmas present this year and it was actually quite a big surprise because I've been asking my dad to get this but unfortunately the prices were too high to be able to afford it so I didn't think I was going to get it for Christmas um, but my dad bought it as a surprise present so yeah it's the Once Upon a Time season 4. So if you haven't seen Once Upon a Time you have to watch one, season 1, 2 and 3 just to watch this season. It is so good. This is like the best 
Once Upon a Time season, maybe besides season one. So go watch Once Upon a Time. Things that I like to indulge on. I got some minstrels, chocolate minstrels. The next thing is this. This was another surprise from Katie. I was so upset because I didn't get the snowman um, advent calendar. I really wanted it this year, but I didn't get it. So my sister got me this instead, and I'm so glad she did. I absolutely love the snowman, and this was a great addition to my snowman love. So I can't wait to eat it, but I sort of don't want to because it's so perfect. I am a huge biscuit addict. I can eat biscuits, like, all, all day. I can't get tired of eating biscuits. I don't know what it is. So my auntie decided to tease me and she gave me this Victoria McVitie's collection. The only disappointment I think of this is it doesn't have a digestive biscuit in, but that's okay. As I've already told you in my Christmas video, my most favorite thing to get is something that is dedicated to a character, like something that, you know, I look at it and I'm like, that reminds me of that film character. This year, I felt that this year was really dedicated to Clara because she just recently left Doctor Who. With Clara, I came across Etsy that they had some of the necklaces that she wore and also one to represent as so well. I can remember Clara about it and I can also get it because it reminds me of myself as well. So yeah, it's this necklace here. my Clara necklace. So I sent two necklaces to my dad and I said you can choose out of either one which one you want to get me and my dad being my dad probably couldn't decide and decided to get me both of them. <laughs> um, but yeah this is the other necklace. Belief. This is the surprise present from Katie and I didn't know what it was she wrapped it in this huge packaging and it was this necklace. very pretty. With the Once Upon a Time one as well, these were the presents that I got in a joint collection. We always do that in our family where like two things could go with two people, so my dad addresses it to two people. Um, so this was from Katie Ellis. It's moving around in its box. Um, but yes, this is the Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit. I was so happy to get this because me and my sister were trying to get my dad to buy this at the Warner Brothers Studios, but he was like, we've got too many Trivial Pursuits, you've got a game at home about Harry Potter. But the fact that my best friend, well, my sister's best friend, Katie Ellis, got it is so good. I was just like, yay, we have it now. It's no problem. But yeah, so good. We've already played it, and I'm so good at Harry Potter compared to Katie. It's unreal. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really good at this game, so don't test me. Um, next was, again, a present for me and Katie. But yeah, this is the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Candy Glam essentials palette. It's really cute, it comes in a glittery packaging, well not packaging, but it's glittery, it's really nice. It's got a little message from Tanya on the back. So yeah, I love it, it's really cute. And then yeah, this is the present. This is starting to become a tradition, and if she brings out a third book, it's definitely going to be an official tradition. Um, but this is the second book to Girl Online, Girl Online on tour. Katie told me a story about this, um, it was actually when she bought it, it was actually in her bag and it was raining so all the pages in the first page got soaked. But Katie, being the amazing human being that she is, look how fixed this is. Like you wouldn't even know that was wet at all. Like there's a slight bumpiness to it but it's perfect. So yeah, we're done! Right, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys as much as I've enjoyed filming it. Um, this has been a really funny video hasn't it yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video um please if you haven't already um subscribe and um, like this video if you liked it and comment below and let us know we want we're on a new year let's start this year really good just give us some really good um ideas but we'll do everything that we can and we just really hope that you enjoyed this video and enjoy watching it all that other stuff I'm rumbling now. But yeah, see you later guys. Bye! Hey guys, so today, no, I'm shouting again. Um, because it was Christmas, in case you didn't know. And in case you didn't celebrate it, celebrate it! Don't know why I'm shouting at you. First things first. I got this cute, and I mean cute, this very cute, um, onesie. 
First things first. I think that. First things first. First. I have to say first for it to come up first. Right. First things first. First. Not first. First things first. Now I'm not happy. <laughs> okay. Ooh, things keep falling in my bag. Seriously. And dramatic. And it's self help. My favorite things in here are the time turner. No, time turner's not in it. <laughs> and then finally, I am a huge biscuit. Put that down there so it doesn't cause any more problems. Right. Um, I want to say abnegation, but it's not abnegation. Abnegation is someone that trusts in. Um, dauntless. Candle. I can't remember what it's called. That's really bad. But yeah, the the um the place that you can go for peace. I can't remember what they're called. Ar um, amnity. Ooh wee. And um yeah, it just reminds me of Clara, and I'm just like, oh yeah, that was something totally Clara would wear because she does wear it. Um, 